Yeah! Oh, hey, I didn't see you come in today. How's it going? Um, I'm one of your teachers, Jordan Smith. Um, I'm going to be teaching you about marketing. What's marketing? Well, marketing is defined as an organi organizational function and set of processes for creating, communicating, and delivering value to customers and for managing customer relationships in ways that benefit the organization and its stakeholders. What? What? What does that mean? What? Well, guys, that's a good question. The key concept you should pull out of this is customer relationships. The better relationship you have, the more loyal the customer is, which equals profit. Yeah! One of the uh, main building blocks of customer relationships is value. You have to have a good product that the customer will want to keep coming back. The thing you need to watch out for when as a company describing your, the value of your product is the possible traps of over-promising and under-promising. With over-promising you guarantee too much with your product which they cannot possibly do which will not satisfy the wants and needs of the customer. And under-promising is when you don't set your, the expectations of your product high enough, which no one will want to buy a product if it says it doesn't do that many things. The last thing you should know about customer relationships is utilities, which is the ability of goods and services to satisfy these wants, which has anything to do with speed to location. The first two types of utilities are form utility, which you take inputs and make into outputs for consumers to buy, which McDonald's does with their hamburgers and everything. And the second is time utility, which is a convenient time and is open for everybody, which they're open 24 hours. Yep. Place utility is when they have goods and services in convenient places to satisfy consumers' wants and needs. For instance, ATMs. The last uh, kind of utility is ownership utility, which is the trading of ownership from one person or company to another person or company. For instance, say I buy this shirt which is owned by the Capital Bookstore, the ownership would trade off to me. The next thing that you need to know about marketing is product strategy. Does anybody know what a product is? What? product, they just think of material things that we buy, use, and consume every day. But the truth is, from a marketing standpoint, products are anything that an organization offers to satisfy consumer needs and wants, including goods, services, and ideas. The next thing you need to know is the difference between the two types of products, consumer products and business products. Consumer products are purchased for personal use or consumption. Business products are purchased to use either directly or indirectly in the production of other products. When a food service company like this place buys potato chips, it's a business product. Yeah! But when I buy them for my own personal consumption, it's a consumer product. One type of product strategy that uh, businesses use is product differentiation. Types of product differentiation are quality, features and benefits, product lines and product mixes, branding, and packaging. Walmart is a great example of two types of product differentiation, product lines and product mixes. A product line is the same type of product, just different kinds. And then you also have product mixes, which is thousands of different products in the same store. Product strategy is innovation. Innovation can be radically new products that change how people live or just improving on existing products. Another type of innovation is dynamically continuous innovation. This is just innovation which is a marked change in an existing product such as iPods or MP3 players. The final type of innovation is continuous innovation. Continuous innovation is just a slight modification of an existing product, 
such as new sizes, shapes, packaging, designs, or a new flavor at Dairy Queen. The final aspect to marketing is promotions. What? What? What does that mean? What? One big part of promotion is product placement, and that is the paid integration of branded products into movies, TV, and other sorts of media. The movie Transformers is a great example of product placement in which several Chevy models are featured in the movie. Sponsorship is another big part of promotion and is the deep association between a marketer and a partner, which involves promotion of the sponsor in exchange for either payment or the provision of goods. An example of sponsorship is the Manchester United soccer jerseys, which feature an AIG logo. Another important aspect of marketing is just distribution and costs. What? What? Huh? Raw materials are a part of a product that isn't actual the full product, but it's part a small part of it that is needed to be made. This raw material is transferred by logistics, which is usually a truck or a semi, to the warehouse or storage facility where the, product, the raw materials wait until they go into the production phase. The production phase is one of the most important phases because that's where the raw materials become the actual product. After the production phase, the final product is stored in a warehouse until the actual store needs that product. When the store needs the product, it's shipped by logistics, which is again, usually a truck or semi, but can also include airplanes or any other kinds of transportation, and it's taken to the distributor or a store. And that's where the consumer buys the product, and that's where pricing comes into play. A cotton field is an example of a raw material because it is a part of the item being made and required to reach the final product. This is a semi-truck, which is used in the logistics portion or shipping portion of a good, where they usually ship the good from the warehouse to the actual store. In other cases, when entrepreneurs run the company, like a small company, they need to use FedEx because they don't have their own shipping method. This is an example of a warehouse where raw materials are made into the actual good and then companies store the good until they are needed. Sewing machines and factories that make t-shirts are an example of production because it is where the raw materials are made into the final products that will be sold. This is the final step of production and it's called sales and they need to decide what prices they want to sell their product at. Now the store needs to decide if they want to sell their product at a high price because of the unique item, if they want to sell it at an everyday low price to increase their revenue by sheer volume of sales, or if they want to give a discount on certain items like this hoodie. Yeah!